Good morning! Actually, I feel like morning is almost over, but I quickly want to mention to you guys my audible pick of the month. So let me show you my phone instead of my face. <laughs> All right, so you guys know that I have been partnered with Audible forever. I love Audible. They have an unmatched selection of books. So before we jump in to my book pick of the month, if you guys wanna check out Audible for yourself, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole, or you can text Nicole to 500-500. They have an unmatched selection of books. This is my library, but you can browse all the books that they have to offer. They also have Audible Originals where you can only find on the app. So yes. I, oh ma'am, ma'am, I am currently listening, well I'm re-listening to Little Women. I've been seeing just so much Little Women everywhere that I was like, let me refresh. And I really Not love the, voice, just for the, fun of it. the lady's voice that narrates this. Entrenching himself behind an undeniable fact. I don't. I never wanted to make you care for me so, and I went away to keep you from me. I'm going to go grab my AirPods and try to finish this. I need to do a little bit of laundry before we jump in to getting ready for the day because we are going to film so let me go grab my airpods but again if you've never tried audiobooks i highly recommend them i find them to be very very soothing and a lot of you guys do too because you always are in my dms and sending me book recommendations and i love it i always say i feel like we just have like our own little book club here so i'm gonna go grab my airpods so that we can start laundry and then we can start filming but one more time if you want to try audible for yourself all you have to do is go to audible.com slash nicole and you're in there. One hour later. It's about one. I've already had my coffee. I had to charge you guys up. But we are gonna film today. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna film yet, but I need to hook my Apple TV up because if you guys didn't know, my mom has been, well, she was staying with me for like the past week because she got dental implants. So she was staying here and she was staying in the back guest room. So I had the Apple TV back there for her, but I need it in my room. It's been hell quiet getting ready without like housewives or somebody playing. I forgot I had these back here, but it just smells like flowers. Not dead flowers, just actual flowers back here. I actually really like dead flowers. I don't know if that's weird of me, but I do. Um, <laughs> but I had to hide these back here because Orange always tries to eat the flowers um, and they can be toxic to cats. So I tend to usually hide flowers whenever I get them. I want these shoes. I literally had these when I was like nine or 10 years old. I had the white pair, but give them to me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so nice to have you back, Apple TV. What can we watch? Maybe I'd like to watch a movie. I don't know, I have so many options. Okay, that's what I'm watching. <laughs> okay, so I don't know where the time has gone. Where's the remote? I was like, you know what? Let me record myself getting ready on my here so I could put it on my stories. Tell me why that shit took me an hour and a half to do my makeup on here because I feel like you just gotta stop, save the clip, start it over, stop, save the clip, start it over. It's freaking 3.30 now, like, <laughs> ooh. And I also made the mess messier. <laughs> I was like, let me go get a shirt. And then I was like, I am already wearing my shirt. I plan to film in this shirt anyways. <laughs> Let's actually clean this first. All right, this is actually as good as it's gonna get because <laughs> start filming we got time to clean all this all right we are ready to film so let's jump in to our main <laughs> setup Whew, far jump <laughs> All right, so today we are going to talk about some favorite products that I have been loving I have freshly washed hair too so if you see me touching it a lot please bear with me <laughs> I feel like I haven't done one of these in like 30,000 years so today is mainly just skincare Actually, I feel like it's just a little bit of everything. Some hair, there's one, two hair products, some skincare, and makeup. Let's just jump right in because I feel like it's gonna be a long one. So maybe grab a snack, get some H2O, hydrate. I don't need you passing out during my video, okay? I'm gonna start with a product that I've gotten a lot of requests on because I've been talking about this product for well over a year now on my Instagram. Anytime I blow dry my hair, I always douse my hair in this. This is from Color Wow and it is their Dream Coat Supernatural Spray and it says it magically transform texture and it has humidity proof powers, which I can attest to. I get a lot of questions regarding humidity, uh, especially from people that live out of town. I get them a lot in my DMs like, oh, I'm coming down to Disney World. I'm coming to Florida. What's the humidity like? What can I put in my hair? This. 
you can put this in your hair. I can't blow dry my hair without this because I have like a funky texture of hair. I always kind of have, it's in between curly and straight, it's wavy, it's also damaged. I did a lot of damage to my hair when I had colorful hair because I had my hair fully bleached. And you guys remember I talked about getting a chemical cut where my hair just got trimmed really short. Like the front of my hair was like this long. As you can see, it's very grown out now, but it was a nightmare. I've tried not to use it when I blow dry my hair just to see like, am I noticing a difference or is it all in my hair? And when I don't use this in my hair, it just looks frizzy, it doesn't look as smooth. Like I haven't ran a hair straightener over my hair, this is just me blow drying it with this magical ass spray. I got the big jumbo size. They do have a smaller size if you guys wanna try this out. There hasn't been one product from Color Wow that I haven't liked, so really, really good. I don't know if they carry it in stores, but I get it online like everything else. <laughs> so for a detangler, I use this Daily Dose Miracle Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. I saw this on Amazon. I think it like just promoted it, like popped up for me and I was like, oh, what is this? It's cruelty-free and vegan and I feel like it's kind of like an It's a 10 product because it does a bunch of stuff to your hair and it moisturizes and nourishes, softens and strengthens, it's non-greasy, it adds shine, it eliminates its frizz, prevents breakage, repairs, it detangles, and it protects your color so since I do have color treated hair I have damaged hair uh, I have tangly hair knotty hair so I always like to put in some kind of leave-in conditioner or detangler but really my main reason for loving this is it doesn't add any weight to the hair and it doesn't leave any kind of residue on the hair so I really like this one because it's lightweight and it doesn't leave any like gunk behind on your hair and it does a really great job at detangling as well <laughs> my next one is from chlorine chlorine <laughs> I don't know how to say this name but this is a bomb ass dry shampoo really 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 good another product that I'm always trying out are dry shampoos because I don't like to wash my hair a lot let's be honest it's a lot of hair I don't want to wash it all the time um, but when I am working out a lot I am washing my hair every single day which I kind of hate but I kind of do it because I just get so sweaty during workouts but I gotta wash my entire head. But during those months where I'm not <laughs> working out every single day of my life, I live for a dry shampoo. And I love this one because it just gets rid of all the greasiness in your hair, all of it gone forever. I mean, not forever, probably until the next day, but it absorbs the oil so well and it doesn't leave a residue. It comes out white, but I have dark hair and I have no issues with it. And it smells really good. It's really minty and refreshing. And out of all the dry shampoos I've tried, I feel like this is up there. Like this is a top dog. Really, 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 really good. I know they have one for dark hair. I haven't tried that one yet. So when this one runs out, I will be picking that guy up. And I got this at, um, Ulta. All right, let's talk about some makeup. The first two that I want to talk about are actually applicators. Mine are dirty because they are in use, but they are the Tati Blendiful makeup applicators. I love these. Like, love, love, love them. I have two sets because I use one for liquid and one for powder, even though technically you can use them for both. You can just move around the sponge, like you can go from corner to corner. I just like to have one for each because I know myself, I'll just forget and then I'll be liquidy and I'll dip it in powder and then you know, I don't have time for that, so I just have the two of them. But I use the bigger one to apply my liquid foundation, and I use the smaller ones to apply my concealer. I use for my concealer, and this one I use for my under eye powder. Uh, this one I use for powder, and this one I use for foundation. You can use them for anything. You can use them for primer, bronzer, blush, powder, liquid, whatever you want, you can use them for. Some foundations don't really play well with them. Um, like I used the Wet n Wild foundation with it, and I didn't really love it. I mainly use my Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Fetish Foundation and that works so, so good with this applicator because it's more of a liquidy consistency. It's a lot thinner. Um, and I haven't found any concealer that doesn't play well with this guy. What I really like about it is you can like smooth it on your face or you can tap it on your face. Whatever you wanna go with, it works. I think it makes the makeup look beautiful on the skin. So the only bad thing that I can say about these is it'd be a little inconvenient to wash them. It's cause I have to make sure that I wash them so that they're ready for the next day. It's not like a quick beauty blender. You can just go wash it off in the sink and you're good to go. No, because they need time to dry. But other than that, I think these are magic. 
magic. Next is this KKW Beauty blush palette. I love blush. It's one of my favorite things in makeup and I feel like I've just been stuck on the Jouer ones for a really long time. Those are amazing blushes. I love anything that's in a blush palette as well because I just think it's more versatile. You have more options and I really like to just like custom create a blush color so I'm always just constantly mixing these three shades together. This is the matte blush palette. They do have one that has like a sheen to it but I'm not into that. I only like matte blushes so really really like this so I quickly wanted to mention it because I've been using this guy non-stop since I got it. So next you guys have heard me talk about this product a million times but if you haven't I just want to give it a quick shout out. This is the Make It Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. It is a mouthful but this is also a very magical blurring powder foundation like it says. I use the shade so I use the say I use the sh I use the shade R330 as like my all over color and as of recently I have been using R230 to kind of brighten up my under eye because I figured if it's giving my face like this smoothing effect I bet it does the same thing under the eye and it does. So if you're looking for some kind of smoothing a powder underneath the eyes and you don't really like any setting powder, I would definitely recommend trying this powder out. Now keep in mind, I do set my under eye with a powder that I'm gonna show you and then I use this powder on top of that just for a more brightening, fuller coverage effect. I don't set my under eye with this. Does that make sense? So the two things that I have been using to set underneath my eye, I'm gonna mention the one that I've been using a little more often is from By Terry, and this is their hyaluronic uh, setting powder. It is translucent, there's no color to it, but since it's a hyaluronic power, power, but since it's a hyaluronic powder, it has a little bit of extra moisture in it, and since the under eye area is usually a more drier area of the face, I've been loving this under there because I haven't looked dry. I really like it, it is very finely milled, and it just sits really nice underneath the eyes. But for the last couple of days, I've been using this Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I feel like these two are really similar to each other, but this guy is just like a loose powder and this guy is packed into a compact, so it's a little more convenient. It's a little bit easier to use, but this powder, it feels like when you first like kind of swatch it and you touch it in your hand, you're like, oh no, this is going to be like chalky under the eyes, but no. It is so smoothing, so blurring. It looks really nice underneath the eyes. It comes in three colors, light, medium, and dark. If I fake tan or anything like that, I would probably use medium because even on my fair skin, I feel like this looks really bright. So I go in with a light hand and just kind of set underneath the eye with this guy as of recently and I really, really love it. And since we're talking about this guy, I want to mention to you guys the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer, which is also really amazing. So I have on the foundation, the concealer, I have on the powder, I have on the mascara. Pat McGrath is really, <laughs> really good. If you have not tried, this foundation, which let's just make this a favorite as well too. If you've not tried the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Fetish Foundation, you really should. It's so lightweight, but so full coverage. It lasts a really long time. It blends easily. It stays on the skin beautifully throughout the day. Like some foundations will stay on your skin a really long time, but like eight hours in, you're like, oh, I can't wait to get home and take this shit off my face. This, I feel like as the day goes on, it just looks better, like it sinks more into the skin and it just, I don't know, I just really, really love that foundation. I go back to it over and over. So I was really pumped when they came out with concealers and they did not disappoint at all. It is a little bit on the drier side of a concealer, I will say, so you'll, um, you won't have as much time when you're blending it out because I feel like it sets itself really, really well, but I haven't had any issues with creasing and I feel like this guy and this guy, I know they're made to go together, but they are really, really made to go together. These two are magical. And if you have trouble with creasing underneath your eyes, I would say give these two a try. And the concealer shade that I use is light medium 10, as well as light medium eight, if I just want it to be like a little extra bright, but mainly I've just been using light medium 10. So good. All right, two lip colors that I wanna to mention to you guys. This first one is from KKW Beauty, and I'm not really sure what this is. Um, it's the new kind of, lipstick in the tube like this. So the main thing that I like about it is I love the color, one. I think it just goes with everything. It's just like a beautiful, neutral, kind of warm nude shade. But I also love that it has a sheen to it too because that means you can skip out on gloss and your lip is gonna last a little longer. Like, don't get me wrong, you know I love a lip gloss, but when you put a gloss on, your lip tends to fade off faster. So really love this. I wore this when we went to the fair and it was so easy to just keep reapplying and looking like I had put on lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss when really I just put this guy on and 
and the shade is in Subtle Nude. I got it in a little like pack, like a little kit with a lip liner and that guy. And I think the lip liner was 1.5, which is also one of my favorites. All right, another lip product that kind of is the same vibe, but I feel like this one just fades a little bit faster. This is from ColourPop, and this is just a tint. It also gives like a beautiful lip color, and it gives shine to your lips too, so you don't have to apply a gloss. I find myself using this all the time with just lip liner, like if I'm going for like a little naturaler look. Natural, like a more natural look for me means like I'm just not putting on lashes. <laughs> but I love this guy for the daytime. It comes in a bunch of colors. This just happens to be my favorite, and this one is called give me some more. I feel like Netflix right now, like, are you still watching? <laughs> Two of my favorite lipsticks that I've currently been wearing just in rotation all the time, um, they're both from Lawless. They're super similar in color, but one of them is just a little more pink than the other. So this one is Wedding Day, which is just such a beautiful color, especially for a wedding day. It's just like this perfect pinky nude. Fawn is just a little more on the warmer side, but it is super duper similar to Wedding Day. So really creamy on the lips um, and I mean really the main reason that I love the lipstick is because I love the shades okay let's be honest like I feel like a creamy lipstick is a creamy lipstick and I'm wearing gloss with it so I'm not gonna get a super long wear out of it anyway but I just love these two shades again they are wedding day and fawn but all of the shades in that like nude collection is really pretty all right and then the last few products are just a few skincare products the first one is from soap and glory and this is their vitamin c face wash i love this i love the smell of it i love these little beads in it because it's very gentle on the skin i mainly use this face wash in the morning to wash off any of my night moisturizers or anything like that which you should always be doing if you don't wash off your nighttime skincare routine in the morning and let's say you go straight into doing your makeup you might find that you like you know, you get like those little peely things on your face and it's probably because you just didn't wash your face when you got up in the morning. So I love this. Uh, it smells really minty and like invigorating and it just smells really good in the morning. It like helps wake me up. So really, really love this guy. If you are wondering, I still am obsessed with Summer Friday's jet lag mask. To me, to me and my skin, I find that there is no better hydrator. I love that it's like so multifunctional. You can use it as a mask, you can use it as a moisturizer, you can use it before you put your makeup on, you can put it in the refrigerator and use it underneath your eyes for like a deep puffing effect. I just love, love, love the jet lag mask. This is probably like my 14th hundred one that I've gone through since they launched. So in case you were wondering, this shit is still the bomb. <laughs> So that is it for all my favorite things that I am currently loving. Hopefully the battery doesn't die and I can tell you guys that I don't have anything else to say. So that is it for me and all of my products. Hopefully you guys found some that you like and I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you and I will see you super soon in another video. Bye guys. All right, so I am just going to, like I said, I recorded, did I tell you guys? I recorded myself getting ready to put on my IG story, so I'm just going to review all the footage and then put it up. But it's 5.30 now, so this is the end of my day. Beebs will probably be home soon. We'll cook some dinner because we have to stop eating by 9. I have been intermittent fasting, which we'll talk about another time. I've only been doing it for like three weeks or so. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys soon.